The holiday season can trigger a long list of emotions, certainly joy for the time that you get to spend with your family and friends. But when you're older, the joy can be mixed with sadness. Loss is really tough to deal with, and health challenges can make holiday gatherings stressful. Joining us to talk about helping your senior loved one have a wonderful holiday is Dr. Joseph Stratton, the medical director of Mercy Life for Delaware County. Okay, so Dr. Stratton, we need to look at this, and some of these challenges can really trigger a sense of depression. So what would be the signs of that? What should those of us who are watching our older loved ones look for? It's a great question. With, the, um, with younger people, we might express our emotions. We might say that we're sad. With older people, very often they won't say that. And so what we need to do is look for signs of confusion, that they're more uh, sleepy or less energetic. And those are things that might show that somebody's depressed, they, whether they're saying it or not, even if they're just not sleeping as well as they might. Those are signs we should look for. Uh, should we also look at how they're eating, whether their appetite has changed as well? Yes. Their interest in activities. Their, um, how, the joy they might see and normal things they might enjoy if the grandchildren come over and they just don't seem as happy as they normally would. They're not eating as much as normally. Yeah, okay, All so those. those are important things to look at. Okay, so I would imagine, though, that the one thing that you don't say to somebody who is going through that is snap out of it. That's I would think that that's not helpful. Such a great point, yes. Um, and things that can be helpful are to, to inquire. Um, tell me, what's, you know, what's going on? It seems like something's bothering you. And also to, to predict that many times we, the holidays bring up emotions and memories and, um, and also bring up sense of losses, people that we've lost in our life, people that we're not seeing as much, loss of independence. And we can kind of predict what might be bothering the people we love and we can inquire about that. Gosh, mom, are, are you thinking about dad? Or mm -hmm. it's kind of frustrating that you're not able to see your friends as much and give them a chance to talk about things. Okay, so um, we, we also then, I know at Mercy Life, you encourage independence and you try to provide a way for some of the traditional holiday things to be able to really work into this older person's life. Can you share with us a little bit of that? We, uh, with the Mercy Life program, we're an adult day center as well as has a primary care clinic and physical therapy and all kinds of things and um, so in our adult day center um, to help people feel like they are still engaged and contributing um, we have gift wrapping that people can wrap gifts that they're going to give to their families um, sessions where they can cook you know baked macaroni and other things that they can uh, put out and give to family members and so lots of ways for people to stay engaged in holiday traditions and so if, the, if someone is listening about this are they still able to sign up is it an open enrollment type of thing it absolutely is. It's open enrollment for people who are 55 and older, and um, and people can give us a call and let us know if they're interested, and we can let them know a lot more about the program. All right, Dr. Stratton, thank you so much, and happy holidays to you. Happy holidays. Thank you very much. So Mercy Life has a mission to keep seniors happy and mentally healthy all year long. It is possible to enroll your loved one today at any of the centers. For more information on Mercy Life, you can go to cbsphilly.com and click on the Talk Philly. We're coming right back.